it's an honor to be here, and um, but also it's a responsibility as well uh, for, for for us to showcase the, not just rugby but uh, Samoa to the world as our former players. It's something we wanted to see for yeah. probably all our lives. You know, we're we're, we're finished now. Our, our careers are finished, but to see these uh, young guys have a chance to uh, play Super Rugby, um, you know, uh, wearing the Pasifika um, emblem on their shirt, That's it's right. massive. So let's make let's sell this game out. Let's uh, make a really uh, big celebration of it and show the world that you know put some more on the map. Just tuning in, we have a Trevor Lilts and Daniel Lil in the studio. Welcome back, welcome back home. It's good to see you guys again. Awesome to be back, um, you know, for the special occasion for, for uh, Samoan and Pacifica Rugby. Yeah. And uh, yeah, obviously, uh, we're only uh, representing the opposition. Uh, Team today, but yeah. um, you know, for, for me and Trent, this is always home. Uh, as a former South Auckland, it's beautiful to be back and uh, yeah, getting some, uh, getting a lot of food into us. I don't, think, I don't think, I don't think Trevor slept uh, probably two hours since we've been there uh, on Sunday. I saw Trevor last night at Pinatis. Oh yeah, nothing beats uh, the local food. But that's uh, that's really nice. You guys are back home. As the opposition team, how do you guys feel building up to the game? <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, it's amazing to be uh, part of this special uh, special event, you know, it's a um, landmark, you know, obviously we had the, the Reds versus uh, the Blues here yeah, uh, a couple time. of years ago, but um, I think this one's much more special because uh, it was more like a learning uh, curve for yeah. Super Rugby here in, uh, in Samoa. Um, a lot of mistakes were made then that hopefully have been uh, rectified, and, uh, but as the Reds, um, as uh, Queensland, we're just we're just uh, really blessed to, to be here and uh, be involved for, for our second time to play here in Apia. Yeah. We're actually uh, more experienced here than uh, one possibly in terms yeah, of super right, yeah. rugby in Apia Park, so uh, hopefully that counts for us. But um, it's a historic occasion, you know, uh, you know, something that for me as a as a as a, as a former player, it's something we wanted to see for yeah. probably all our lives. You know, we're, we're, we're finished now. Our, our careers are finished, but to see these uh, young guys have a chance to uh, play Super Rugby, um, you know, uh, wearing the Pasifika um, emblem on their shirt, that's it's right. massive. Uh, whether we're here with the Reds, but we're still, you know, in our hearts, we're still uh, supporting uh, both teams. You know, one uh, we can't lose on the weekend because we've, we've got uh, we've got feet in both camps, so we 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 happy. Yes. <laughs> But it's good to have you guys back home. But yeah, we've got a really strong uh, bus speaker presence in the Reds team too. Uh, we've got uh, five Samoan boys, uh, five uh, Fijians, a couple of Tongans, uh, Maoris. So uh, yeah, don't be surprised when you see some uh, some brown faces in the, in the Reds. <laughs> Part of the reason coming early for, for yes, us, yes. Uh, Trevor, myself, and some of our staff was to. To, uh, to invest into Samoa as well in a small way that we, that we can. That's right. So uh, it's been uh, awesome to see that those uh, coaches, um, you know, um, their thirst for knowledge and, and development. Yeah. Um, and also the, the amount of uh, female coaches on the board, so uh, about half of them are uh, 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 women's coaches, which shows the, how strong rugby is, not just in uh, men's rugby, here, but, you know, growing the, the women's game yeah. as well. Oh, well, Trevor, you were telling me that uh, some of the boys that you uh, you brought over, it's uh, of course it's also only forty grassroots rugby. No, no, yeah, well, it's, uh, we have all nice some boys from New Zealand to come to Australia to play a bit of rugby. Got a phone call to bring the boys here to the sound one in the twenties. So. Brought them here and just resourced uh, being up here last night. Now, but yeah, the trial today is at uh, two o'clock, and uh, yeah, the boys will be good. So yeah. hopefully we can help the. Uh, I could be some more as well. I might have to throw my hand up and try and jump in the part of the board, but we'll see what happens. Nice, Samoa. Let's get involved. Also, having a reunion with the old boys, uh, like Manu Samoa. Yep, the uh, Manu Samoa boys are getting together tonight, so yeah. uh, I think we'll to see some of the old faces and uh, tell them a lot of the old stories. But yeah, now we're looking forward to be with them. I think that's a special thing huh, yeah. about, uh, about rugby, you know, when you finish playing. These kind of opportunities, this uh, you know, brings everyone together. So it's really good to you know see uh, the different generations yeah. uh, of uh, Monsa Ball players all coming together yeah, yeah. and uh, getting behind uh, Mona Pasifika and also the you know Monsa um and the Sevens, you know, that have done really well. But obviously leading into uh, Rugby World Cup later this year, it's a big one. So uh, we want to try and get ourselves uh, organised early <laughs> and uh, you know support the team as best as we can.
It's gonna be quite the reunion now. I'm talking about all the red cards and the high tackles, man. <laughs> I never got any red cards, <laughs> oh, but coming back to the game, what are you guys excited uh, uh, to see this coming Friday? It's it's going to be quite the matchup, as you were saying. There are a lot of Samoan boys, uh, Pacifica boys, in the Reds team. It's going to be quite the clash. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be great. Now the Reds are playing some really uh, open rugby um, at the moment. We, we we like to, to run around and throw the ball around. Um, yeah. you know, so it should be a, you know good conditions for us. It's about the same similar sort of weather in, uh, in Brisbane right now as, as over here, so we've got no excuse not to uh, acclimatise pretty pretty quickly to the, mm. to the conditions. Um, so uh, for us, it's, uh, we've got uh, one of our Samoan boys, uh, Jordan Petaya. It's his uh, 50th match for Queensland, so we're going to be celebrating that and uh, hopefully celebrating that with a win for him and uh, his family here in, uh, in Samoa. Um, I'm close friends with uh, Jordy's uh, family. Yes. And uh, sadly, we uh, lost uh, Jordy's dad uh, uh, two years ago. Uh, passed away to, to a heart attack, so that was really sad. So coming back to Samoa for Jordan and playing in front of his, uh, his, his father's family here, the brothers and the sisters and all the Ainga is, uh, is massive for him. Yeah. And um, you know, uh, we want to support him that. So yeah, we'll be supporting And he's in really good form, you know, uh, just selected for the Wallabies. He's probably one of our uh, strike players that will be, uh, need to be on really good form. Uh, today and you know what it's like when, whenever whenever Samoans from uh, come and play in Samoa, they, they know we have to bring our A game. That's right. That's right. They'll be targeted. <laughs> they'll be targeted by the opposition. So uh, it's important that uh, we get a, um, some good form on and, uh, and get another win for the for the Reds. You know, we're only you know similar to one. I've been struggling for for W's in the, in the win loss uh, column um, this year. We've only got two two wins from seven. So it's, um, you know, we, we see this game as a chance to reset our, our season and hopefully find some form and get into that top eight for the finals. Ah, true. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Well, and Fasua, Trevor Lotum and Daniel Leo, the time to talk back this morning with the Red Officials. Thank you very much, boys, for stopping by here on Ice Fire Radio. It's good to see you guys back once again here at home and, of course, giving back to Shamor. Uh, like a few, any final words you'd like to give out there to young rugby players? Being the professional, you guys are. Huh? I don't know about professional now, <laughs> no, but uh, nah, just uh, it's great to see games like this come here to inspire the kids to, to chase their dreams. So let's just keep training hard and you know, train your dreams, and if it goes all well. Yeah, and do that just for me. It's just yeah, it's, a, it's an honour to be here, and um, but also it's a responsibility as well like, for, for for us to showcase the, not just rugby but uh, Samoa to the world. Mm. So um, the best thing that we can do to do that is uh, get down to the stadium this week. Let's fill out our uh, beer park and uh, show the world that we can make uh, rugby um, successful and, and uh, not just successful on the field but successful off the field as well. You know. Um, it's so important that um, we're not just developing our players, but you know, if you're a young referee, you're getting that opportunity to, you know, to referee in Super Rugby games in the future, or if you're, uh, you know, if you're a videographer working in TV, or even yourself, you know, radio, whatever you feel, you know, this, if we can make, uh, you know, rugby will have a big impact on all of those uh, those fields, you know, tourism, everything, you know. So let's make this sell this game out. Let's uh, make a really uh, big celebration of it and show the world that you know, put some more on the map. <laughs> That's right, Daniel Leo there, but oh my joy for the chance to talk back to Tao. Sal Lele, I'm Fei Fatoso, ticket, get your tickets now. Uh, we're gonna have a blast, we're gonna have a party. Come and enjoy Mona Pacifica and Queensland Reds put out quite the show uh, this coming Friday, 5 p.m.